Elden Ring, Starfield, and the sequel to Breath of the Wild. Three reasons why 2022 can't get here soon enough. Shut up and take my money! The acclaimed release of Final Fantasy VII Remake, the resurgence of Final Fantasy XIV, and the development of Final Fantasy XVI all seem to indicate that Square Enix isn't letting up on the beloved Final Fantasy series. Stranger of Paradise Final Fantasy Origin, dropping March 18th, is taking the Square Enix IP even further with a more action-oriented adventure. Also, chaos. Chaos exists. I knew it. I told you. Developed by Team Ninja, Stranger of Paradise features hack and slash and souls like mechanics. Players will take control of Jack Garland, a hero who lives in the world of the original Final Fantasy. Jack is able to utilize physical and magic based attacks with party members during his quest to destroy chaos. I'm here to kill chaos. That's my mission. IGN has been able to provide fans with an extensive look at the gameplay in Stranger of Paradise, and it's already looking great. A lock-on function allows players to engage enemies head-on before performing a brutal finisher. These final moves turn opponents into a crystallized form that Jack then crushes. Final Fantasy veterans might be surprised by some of the revamped combat and objectives, but jobs, skill trees, and consumable items return, helping the game retain its JRPG identity. Stranger of Paradise is a step in an interesting direction for the franchise, even though it's already spawned a number of memes, mostly dealing with, you know. Looks like chaos has been waiting for us. Seven years is a large gap between a game and its sequel. Revealed at E3 2018, Dying Light 2 is keeping the same post-apocalyptic setting and parkour gameplay as its predecessor. However, the game's creators want players to have more choices than ever. As noted by Game Revolution, individual player choices in video games can be hit and miss, with many proving to be inconsequential. Dying Light 2 aims to change this notion. In a Dying Light 2 presentation unveiling the game's branching paths, the developer illustrated how brokering access to a city's water supply could drastically alter the environment and NPC behavior. Depicting two totally different outcomes, Techland successfully showed fans how decision-making will factor heavily into the new game. Dying Light 2 features a functioning ecosystem that reacts on multiple levels to the things you do and the choices you make. The gameplay seen in Dying Light has also received an overhaul. In a recent gameplay trailer, players can see new parkour moves that allow for a greater freedom of movement. The creators have also outlined the emphasis on making combat better as a whole. Something that shouldn't go unnoticed as well is choosing how to deal with infected enemies. Players will be able to utilize movement to avoid encounters entirely or decide to combat them head-on. It's up to the player to choose, quote, mobility and parkour or aggressive blunt force combat, according to Techland. Dying Light 2 is a sequel fans have been waiting years for, and it might be worth the wait. The game drops on February 4, 2022. Originating on the Wii U in 2015 and already receiving its third entry, the Splatoon series is making its comeback in 2022. Thanks to a few trailers, fans have gotten to see some inklings of the changes and additions to come in Splatoon 3. In its revealed trailer, customization options, weapons, and new multiplayer maps were all shown off in succession. One noteworthy item in its initial unveiling is a bow and arrow weapon, which shakes things up after Splatoon 2 introduced dual weapons. The second trailer introduced players to even more gadgets, the Crab Tank. According to a tweet from Nintendo, this small mech sports, quote, a powerful rapid-fire gun and a cannon, and is able to transform into a rolling ball. Players will also have a new grappling hook ability, which will have players launching over walls and creating large splats of paint when they land. While multiplayer is sure to be a blast, Splatoon 3 also looks to have a fun and memorable story mode, just like the previous games. A timed PlayStation console exclusive, Bethesda's Ghostwire Tokyo is shaping up to be a unique next-gen experience for PS5 and PC players in the coming year. Despite a predominantly dark and brooding reveal teaser, Ghostwire Tokyo's subsequent trailers have painted a different picture. Colors positively pop in every frame, and yet the game still retains a supernatural horror feel that the developer is known for. The game setting is a corrupted Tokyo, and the enemies have been designed with Japan's culture and history in mind. Footage of the Tango Gameworks title has also shown off fast-paced first-person combat. In a huge departure from Tango's previous works like The Evil Within, the main character performs ninjutsu-style hand motions to fend off opponents. With its unique visual style and more action-packed gameplay, Ghostwire Tokyo feels like a new direction for the company. Also,
Unfortunately, Ghostwire Tokyo has also had a wild development cycle. Not only has the PS5 exclusive been delayed, but the director of the game quit altogether. Even with those issues plaguing production, Ghostwire Tokyo seems finally poised to deliver chaotic horror and action in 2022. How can Mario plus Rabbids get even crazier? By sending Mario and company into space. The first game was already one of the best Mario games in recent history, and now Mario plus Rabbids Sparks of Hope is poised to be a huge sequel. Rabbid Peach took the world by storm when the first Mario plus Rabbids game was leaked, and now Rabbid Rosalina is making her debut, traveling to a variety of outlandish worlds with the rest of Mario's crew. While the original contained a good deal of levels based on the Mushroom Kingdom, the environments in Sparks of Hope look truly bizarre. Beepo, a divisive character from the first game, has more to do in this sequel as well. The little robot has been shown in early gameplay footage, helping Rabbid Peach fly over enemies for better mobility. These new moves may end up improving the already tight strategic gameplay seen in Kingdom Battle. Mario Plus Rabbids came as a shock to many when it was released to ecstatic reviews. The original received praise from outlets like Nintendo Life for its gameplay depth and its deft mixing of the two properties. It's looking like this intergalactic trek will be even grander. Six long years have gone by since the release of Batman Arkham Knight. At last, Rocksteady is set to kickstart the next DC video game, but the developer is shifting its attention from single-player-driven stories to multiplayer experiences. Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League officially has a 2022 release date, and fans are salivating for just a sliver of gameplay. Harley Quinn, Captain Boomerang, Deadshot, and King Shark make up the titular group of criminal misfits in this wild adventure. The first footage from the game display what Suicide Squad lovers might expect – bonkers action and back-and-forth banter between team members. Confused about what their objective is, the villains are finally met by their target – a vicious-looking Superman. Shedding more light on this twist is the trailer that debuted at 2021's DC Fandom Virtual Condition, which also shows off a corrupted Flash, Wonder Woman, and Green Lantern. Overall, Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League is under a large amount of pressure to meet fan expectations. While it's not yet clear just how the game will play, the wild story and beloved characters on display is probably enough to encourage fans to welcome back Rocksteady with open arms. Rocksteady isn't the only Warner Brothers developer transitioning to DC multiplayer games. A very quiet WB Montreal is hard at work on a co-op Batman game, Gotham Knights. If you're watching this, I'm dead. With Batman seemingly in the big Batcave in the sky, this game instead centers around Robin, Batgirl, Nightwing, and Red Hood. Even with the new cast, the gameplay is reminiscent of the Arkham series, particularly when it comes to grapple and combat mechanics. Differing completely, however, is the inclusion of cooperative play. WB Montreal has explained that Gotham Knights was designed from the ground up with two-player co-op in mind. The game also introduces the villainous Court of Owls, who were originally teased in a series of tweets from WB Games Montreal. In the latest story trailer for Gotham Knights, the sinister organization takes center stage. The fact that Montreal is opting to feature newer villains makes the game feel even more distinct. If you really want to go down this rabbit hole, you need to know there's no coming back from it. Already eliciting positive reactions from outlets like GameRanks, Gotham Knights aims to satiate fans who have been itching for a true multiplayer Batman experience. Fallout, The Elder Scrolls, and Doom are flagship franchises with which Bethesda has made a name for itself, and soon Starfield might join the ranks. Rather than give fans a series of gameplay showcases, though, Bethesda has been creating hype in other ways. A new cinematic teaser was released during E3 2021, drawing in gamers looking for an expansive and graphically impressive sci-fi RPG. Aside from these scraps of footage, the only real information about what the game is really like has been delivered by Bethesda director Todd Howard, who declared that Starfield is, quote, like Skyrim in space. If that isn't exciting enough, he has further claimed that the game is, quote, also a bit more hardcore of a role-playing game which suggests that the game's mechanics may have more depth than previous Bethesda titles. Lastly, Starfield is being built with the new creation engine, giving more weight to its next-gen exclusivity. Still, beyond some developer comments and an engrossing cinematic trailer, players are still a bit in the dark while they wait for November 11, 2022. How tarnished. In search of the Elden Ring. Hot on the heels of Sekiro is from Software's Souls-like approach to the open-world genre, Elden Ring. 
As described by Metro, Souls games have been primarily identified by their grueling combat, role-playing elements, and occasional Metroidvania progression. Elden Ring will likely retain these characteristics while infusing some new mechanics. When first unveiled, Elden Ring's big hook was in its very conception. Famed writer George R. R. Martin was involved with the early planning phases. Speaking about early development, Martin stated that he worked to pay, quote, fairly detailed background for From Software when it came to the game's world building. Martin is known for his intricate storytelling and world building in Game of Thrones, so seeing his influence in a From Software game is a match made in heaven for fantasy fans. Boss encounters and exploration are staples of any Souls like game, and these items were highlighted in the latest gameplay trailers. Fights look to be extravagant, with players facing down lightning bolt wielding dragons and towering giants. Elden Ring is a game that will no doubt blow gamers away, especially since fans are already erupting with excitement from each second of new footage that is shown off. I command thee now. I am the lord of all that is golden. Breath of the Wild shocked the world in its newfound approach to open world design. Booting up the game and seeing that all of Hyrule is immediately accessible is something that will be difficult to top. But if there's any game that could beat out that experience, it's Breath of the Wild 2. So much is thrown at viewers in the game's first and second teasers including a cavernous walkway beneath Hyrule Castle, Ganondorf's seemingly revived corpse, and aerial exploration. But this is just the tip of the iceberg. Breath of the Wild 2 is holding so much back, including its own name. Nintendo refuses to release the actual title of the sequel, as it may give too much away prior to release. What is known, however, is that time is a major factor in the game. Music plays backwards during the trailer. Supporting this is the first teaser, which has music playing backwards throughout. Meanwhile, players have noted that Link's new rune powers can deflect objects by sending them backwards in time. Also, Link has a flamethrower now. That doesn't really have anything to do with time, but Link with a flamethrower needs to be mentioned. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more SVG videos about your favorite things are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.